The New South Wales government says it's learned from its mistakes while unveiling the first vehicle of Parramatta light rail. The new transport service is designed to support growth in Western Sydney. A new light rail vehicle is on the track with the capacity... Big enough to take Dominic Perrottet's family on one trip. The New South Wales Premier and Transport Minister spruiking the Parramatta light rail for Western Sydney commuters. It's part of the government's $112 billion infrastructure spend over four years. Once completed, the rail service will be stopping at 16 stations, leaving every seven and a half minutes during peak times. But we don't build infrastructure for the sake of it. Uh, we build these projects to transform people's lives for generations to come. Transport Minister David Elliott was forced to defend the new fleet after cracks were found in Sydney's Inner West fleet last year. These trams are, are, are an updated design. They're the third generation. They're um, primarily aluminium, so we have learned from our mistakes. Uh, you can never guarantee that any car or any bit of infrastructure is going to be perfect from day one, but I'm very confident that we've learnt the lessons with the redesign um, is fit for purpose. There are always challenges and issues when you're building significant amounts of infrastructure. The biggest mistake a government can make is to not do anything at all. The Parramatta light rail will be able to hold 400 passengers, which is the equivalent of six buses. The vehicles will be tested on the track mid next year. Passenger services are scheduled to begin in 2024. Gabriella Power, Sky News, Sydney.